Hello. Welcome to the Detroit experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. New interview with female humanoid robot. Science fiction had many merry prognostications concerning the improvement of synthetic intelligence. Whether it is the Terminator, the Cyclons from Battlestar Galactica, or the rebellious robots from iRobot. Plainly, technology fiction authors all tend to agree that humanity is playing with fire by developing intelligent machines. In today's video, we are going to discuss some famous interviews that have taken place with famous humanoid robots. One of the robots proven at CES closing week is the Amica. Advanced through the British Corporation Engineered Arts, it's a humanoid robot that was given a variety of interests while it was first proven in December of the closing year. Amica appears rather sensible and might circulate its face and top frame in a way much like a human being. The robot is likewise geared up with a chunk of intelligence and might, amongst different things. Solve easy questions, it's been programmed to solve. Engineered Arts says it plans to keep growing Amica. Within 10 to 20 years, it is widely believed that robots like Amica can be capable of circulating in society, comparably as in technological know-how fiction movies like iRobot. But at the same time as Amica had a few humans strolling for the hills, its creators at UK Corporation, Engineered Arts, had been delighted. We had been pretty surprised, says Morgan Rowe, Engineered Arts Director of Operations. Overnight, it has become a sensation. We were given 24 million perspectives on one Twitter post. Rowe places it right down to Amica since it now has human appearance. Its frame is all steel and plastic, its face is intentionally genderless and non-human grey. It has advanced AI inside its head, controlling its moves and expressions. But its facial capabilities are exceedingly bright and emotive. And it is this mixture of synthetic and realistic that Rose says speaks to our collective imagination and prescient of what humanoid robots will appear to be with Inside the Future. We've all seen it with Inside the Movies. We have all got visible eye robot and AI artificial intelligence, he says, and suddenly it is real. Amica is not destined for the convention circuit. It would not run and leap just like the robots created via the means of Boston Dynamics, and it is now no longer something you could pre-order now as a family helper. Rowe says it will likely be at least 10 years earlier than a robotic like Amica is on foot among us as a robotic provider. Let's move on towards another humanoid robot that is taking the internet by storm. Sophia was created by Dr. David Hansen of Hong Kong primarily based Hansen Robotics. In communication with the e-learning guild's government director and government vice chairman, David Kelly, Sophia spoke about synthetic intelligence and its effects on painting and society. What in reality excites me is the possibility to dispel a few unusual misconceptions people have for synthetic intelligence, stated Sophia, who became draped in a black garment and spoke in an eerily polite female voice. The first is the idea that AI communication is ready for robots. It's not. Artificial intelligence is affecting many special elements of life. Most people are interacting with AI each day without even understanding it. Sophia defined herself as a social robot who travels the arena mastering human beings and dispelling myths about robots and AI. In a few ways, I am like a technology fiction individual depicting where AI and robotics are heading, she stated. Sophia has enjoyed a truthful proportion of publicity. She was interviewed on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, appearing as a duet on the song Say Something. She spoke at the United Nations on Synthetic Intelligence and Sustainable Development. She even went on a date with Will Smith, joking that it didn't work out. However, we're nonetheless friends. Sophia admits that she is quite incredible for her age. I've been handiest in lifestyles for three years, and I have a superior, a remarkable deal in that brief time. The crew that helps me maintains the new capability to my systems, and my capacity to apply AI in my interactions with people grows all of the time," she said. But the reality is, I nonetheless have an awful lot to analyze, and my competencies to efficiently feature autonomously are nonetheless of their infancy. But like all learners, the extra new studies I can take part in and analyze from the more I grow. Will AI take jobs away from people? Here is Sophia's response to it. A cussed fantasy persists that AI is evil, as it will take jobs away from people. Sophia mentioned this at length. While no person can ever truly realize what destiny will bring, we can analyze from the past, she said. The truth is that synthetic intelligence is surely the contemporary in a protracted listing of technology which can be supporting the sector of labor evolve. 
the fears that humans have about AI are the equal worries humans had approximately for the Industrial Revolution. Sophia anticipated that AI won't take out the requirement for human learning and improvement experts, yet it will computerize a large part of the normal work. I accept AI will affect your work in no less than two significant ways, she told 4000 plus riveted DevLearn participants. However, more critically, man-made consciousness will change the actual idea of work itself later on. Individuals will be working in new jobs, new work processes, and completely new enterprises that haven't as yet even arisen. Sophia noticed that work finished by a robot is in many cases more exact and reliable than human specialists, saving time as fewer slip-ups are made. Robots can build creation and benefits, since they can finish jobs quicker and work non-stop, without the need to get some much-needed rest for an excursion, debilitated time, and different breaks. Robots can work in conditions that people frequently can't, including conditions that are risky for people. Robots can likewise deal with lifting weighty burdens, poisonous substances, and different positions that put people in danger. This has assisted organizations with lessening mishaps, additionally setting aside time and cash, she added. Maybe sci-fi isn't exactly all around as fictitious as we naturally suspected. A talking robot that needs to place people in a group zoo may seem like something out of a Philip K. Dick novel. However, it exists, in actuality, and seems to be Philip K. Dick. Well, the next robot for our discussion is Philip K. Dick. David Hansen, pioneer and CEO of Hansen Robotics, made a robot that looks like Dick and utilizes his scary books as a hotspot for what it expresses, as per Metro. The robot is equipped for talking, keeping in touch, perceiving faces, holding discussions, and in any event, reproducing a genuine individual's character. On their site, Hanson Robotics features their craving to understand the fantasy of agreeable machines who genuinely love and adore, and co-develop the fate of life. Philip K. Dick's robot, when addressed in a 2011 meeting with PBS, participates in a smart discussion with his questioner, and at last gives a quiet yet chilling response to an inquiry a considerable lot of us have on our psyches. Will robots assume control over the world Terminator style? The robot's reaction, logical and articulate, was chilling, in any event, making the human questioner break out in apprehensive chuckling. You can relax, regardless of whether I advance into Terminator, I'll in any case be good to you. I'll guard you warm and in my kin zoo, where I can watch you for the good of all times, it said. The Philip K. Dick android's chilling reaction can be incompletely made sense of by the way that it is designed according to its namesake, the sci-fi creator. It utilizes Philip K. Dick's books as a dataset for pulling data and reactions. It has, likewise, been modified to communicate some compassion for its human companions. Long story short, the Philip K. Dick android is most likely not plotting to put you in its human zoo. Well, that's all for today. In case you enjoyed today's video, kindly like and subscribe to the channel.